Welcome everyone, this is Bobby O from Bobby's Tech World and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S4 from Android version 4.4.2 NC5 down to the 4.3 MK2. So let's go ahead and get started. So at this point you want to go ahead and turn your phone off and go into download mode. So I'm going to go ahead here, power off my device. My device is now powered off, so I'm going to go to download mode by holding this home button down, volume down, and the power button at the same time. Alright, there you go. You just hold them down until you get the vibrate there and you hit up to continue. There's your download mode. Now, this is your cable, your USB here into, I'll be plugging into your computer. Make sure it's pretty durable. There's nothing wrong with it, messed up or anything like that. And please do this on a level surface because things can really get messed up if you start jarring the cable or jarring your phone. So let's go ahead and plug this on up and get on over to the computer. Okay, so here is the form I'll have linked below. If you scroll on down, you'll see the different versions for upgrading and um, at this point I've kind of goofed up a few times on upgrading my phone so right here you'll see how to get downgrade back well it says 4.2 but it's you know MK2 alright and um, it's really simple to do this zip file right here you want to go ahead and click on that and when you do you'll have you know, your begin download right here so you want to go ahead and do that and get it downloaded onto your computer and when you do I would suggest right away to go ahead and unzip it and it'll be this downgrade folder here and you'll see all these files because we're going to start with this downgrade tar then we're going to do the system and then we're going to flash the cache at the end of that so let me go ahead and get back out of that but as you can see in the uh, web on the form here, it gives you the steps right here. First, flash the downgrade.tar, then system tar, and then cache. Um, what you want to do also is get your phone ready. I like to, when I flash this first one here, it'll want to reboot. And once it gets rebooting through like the uh, the boot you know, loader, the, the first part it says Samsung and all that stuff, and gets going, I just go ahead and pull the battery out and put it back in go back to download mode and then start number two so I don't have to worry about trying to let it go all the way through a looping sequence or anything like that so those are taken care of and also your Odin program I'll have that link below right here version 3.09 every time you flash one of these uh, these zip files, these TARs, you're going to flash it right here in AP. Okay, it shows you 0.com4, which means I got a driver installed so I can do something with my phone. It's plugged up, it's ready to go. What I would do is you go to AP. Now, your phone, you could have, who knows, so many different things. A lot of people like downgrading again, or if you even screwed something up, this is where you want to go. Okay, so as you can see up here, my folder is um, upgrade. That's not the one I want. So let me go back. Um, let's see here. Go back to desktop here. All right, we want to downgrade. Okay, so there's a downgrade dot tar right over here on the left. You'll see it's making sure checking that everything is okay. And we'll be back just shortly. I'm going to double check everything, make sure we're good before we start the sequence. Okay, it appears that my files, everything is where it needs to be. I'm going to click start. You're going to see up here on the left that things are about to happen. As soon as you start seeing that stuff happen, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the phone. So you can see how the phone is going to go into a restart. And then I'm going to pull the battery. Alright, and then go back into download mode so we can start the second part of this sequence. So... 
what I'm going to do is go ahead and click start. There it goes. You see where it says boot. Now let's look over at the phone. Okay, as you see on the phone, it's doing the downloading sequence. All right, um, over on your computer, it's still downloading a bunch of other stuff. Now it's resetting. Mm -hmm. So there goes the phone into a, it's resetting currently. So once it gets down here, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out now that it says reset on. Well, there you go. Good. Safe Drive is still installed. So that's a good thing. If you didn't have Safe Strap installed at that moment, you would go ahead and pull your battery. So um, that's really good. So I'm able to go back into Safe Strap. I'm going to reboot into download mode. Okay, there you go. I'm back into download mode. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my USB back USB back in there. Perfect. So there you go. Now we'll go back to the computer and start the second part of this. Okay. Well, that worked out. You see where it says reset, removed. Everything is worked out. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of Odin. All right. I do that every time to uh, make sure I don't mess something up. Excuse me, let me go ahead and I got my file down here. I'm going to go back into Odin. All right. At this point, I'm going back to AP here. System is the next uh, file you're going to want to start here. So you see where it says, please wait. This one may take just a few minutes when you um, run the process. So once again, when it loads, I'll end up hitting start. And then uh, you'll see up here in the top left that things will be going on. And um, once it happens, then I'll switch over to the phone and you can see what's happening on the phone. So this will be the longest part of the whole deal. But what it's going to do is put the whole MK2 back on your phone. It's going to get rid of your KitKat and all that other stuff that you had on there. Now, if you had the OT over the air NC5 KitKat and you flash this stuff, you're probably still on the NC5 bootloader. It's okay right now. You're still going to go back to MK2, but it's just a um, just so a heads up just to let you know, but um, I did not I upgraded through uh, The form I had I just showed you and um, so I'm still on the mk2 bootloader But more to come I guess as the weeks follow and all the developers get involved So I'll be right back as soon as this is completed when it uh, Checks everything All right, everything is now completed finished successfully I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Then I'm going to swap over to the phone. You can see what's going on here in just a second. So I'm hitting start. You see up here where it's flashing the whole system. This part here is going to take a while, but then I'm going to flop over to the phone and show you how it looks on the phone and what is going on. Okay, at this point, you're now... Um, you know the the system is now downloading onto the uh, your your S4 here, and um, it will take a little bit of time, so just be patient. And uh, once this is done, it's going to just reboot right into MK2. And at that point, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the phone off, go back into download mode, and then I'm going to flash the cache, um, the last hard file that we have here. So I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, at this point, things are getting real close to finishing up. Um, as you can see, if you're looking on the computer, the uh, system file is about complete with its, uh, you know, download onto the phone. So when it finishes up, you'll see the phone here. There you go. Reset yeah. shows reset on the uh, computer, and it's resetting over here. So, still says custom. I believe. Don't quite. I know what I'll do. Um, we'll just let it run through. Let it go through its whole system here. 
and before we go after this loads up we're gonna go back into uh, download mode and um, make sure we flash the last part of this so as soon as this finishes booting up I'll be right back okay well I've probably made a little bit of a mistake I've unplugged the cable like I uh, you know through Odin because it says it's passed however I'm stuck on this Verizon screen and a lot of people have talked about that well I believe the main reason is because I did not wipe my system I didn't you know factory reset I didn't do anything like that so um, I just sit there and start a flash and a downgrade so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my battery out okay put it back in I mean, this time I'm gonna hold the power up home and our volume up power and home button okay there. now I knew something was up when I saw this custom here it shouldn't be on here like that but it's alright we're gonna boot into um, the factory recovery here alright what I'm gonna do is scroll down to wipe data factory reset I think you can kind of see that right there wipe data factory reset and click on that delete user data here alright we're gonna let that roll through and then from here we're gonna see what we got so I'll come right back when this is uh, finished doing its deal. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and reboot system. Now let's see what we get. Well, I still get the custom flag, but that's alright. Well, we'll see how it, how it goes from here. Alright, I believe it's, yep, it's a success. Um, I would just pause there. It took maybe three or four minutes, but it finally made its way through. So that's a really good thing. So what I'm going to do now is once again, you want to go ahead and turn off the phone at this point, power off again, shut it down. Then we're going to go back into download mode like I showed you before. And then now we're going to head over to the computer. All right. Now that we're back, now that we're back over to the computer, we have our phone back in download mode. Things to remember, make sure you wipe your uh, factory reset your system somehow any way you can. If you can't, that's what you're going to have to do is what I just did a moment ago. Is go back to your, uh, stand, your factory recovery and do a factory reset. So at this point, I'm going to X out of Odin like I've done before. And I'm going back in. Alright, and then I'm going to flash the last bit of this under AP. Alright, it'll be the cache here. There it goes. Everything is successful. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Now, if you look over your phone, you're going to see that it's just going to show you like download mode. The blue bar is going to go across and then it's just going to restart. And then you'll have a fresh, clean MK2, unrooted, everything is just bone stock the way it was before. So here we go, hitting start. All right, it uh, mm -hmm. passed an ode in here, so now the phone is restarting. The custom lock, I'm not too positive about all that. Um, that's up there, you could probably, if you did another system wipe, but I'm not going to be too concerned about all that. So, we're going to let this take care of business. It's going to do a little bit of uh, uh, running through the cache tar there that we put on here. And, um, when the phone restarts and you're going to be back to you know fully functional MK2 uh, mm. downgraded phone and I'll show you here in just a second alright 
There it goes. There's my language selection here. I'm going to go through a few of the introductory steps here and then I'm going to show you what we're on. All right, here, if you bring down the menu, you will see, if you go to settings, go to more, we're going to go to about phone. Now look at that. 4.3 MK2. You can see all that good stuff. There you go. We're back on Jelly Bean. All right, so now you can enjoy. You're going to root your phone like normal, put your save strap on there, run all the ROMs that you want to run, and have a blast with this thing until people figure out um, a better version of KitKat or whatever. You give you a chance to start over again, okay? Well, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you let me know. I'll definitely help you out and try to hook you up with what I can. All right, thank you all for watching. Take care.